and its member schools produced a variety of champions. Champions of sports, sa public service, at sa iba't ibang industriya kabilang na ang TV, film, and entertainment. The young Jose Sixto Dantes III started out as a junior athlete. He showed another facet to his personality during his brief stint with the Sambeda Red Corps. Ding Dong Dantes joined the entertainment industry to become one of the most respectable actors of his generation. His long list of achievements even extends to service for his country as a lieutenant commander of the Philippine Navy. And founding chair of Yes Pinoy Foundation which supports the volunteer sector. Dong is also a director, producer, entrepreneur, still a sportsman, but most especially, a proud family man. Great way to get us started here, pero ilan pa lang yan sa kanyang amazing achievements sa buhay. And today, he is here with us to show his support for the league that champions the young achievers and future pride of Philippine sports. We are proud to welcome right here on Rise Up Stronger, Kapuso star, Kapuso top dog, Mr. Ding Dong Dantes. Welcome to the show. Thanks Ding for Dong. having me. Thank hello, you, hello. thank you. Kamusta ka naman? Uh, mabuti naman, uh, thank God. Um, so far, yeah, I'm um, feeling uh, good. Uh, so far, ano naman? Uh, Healthy pa naman. So, Healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God. So, NCAA right now is making a huge effort na talagang ipagpatuloy yung laban natin dito sa Season 96. Ikaw, you know, as an alumnus of San Beda mm -hmm. University and a proud one as well, yeah. ano naman yung nararamdaman mo? Una, na nandito sa GMA na <laughs> ang NCAA. Pangalawa, patuloy nila. Talagang itinuloy nila ang Season 96 this year. That's right. Uh, isa ako sa mga super proud na siyempre nandito na finally uh, sa GMA ang NCAA. Kasi siyempre, Aside from the fact that I alam kong, you know, uh, how exciting it was, you know, to to really uh, get the league on board, mm -hmm. eh, alam ko and I recognize how many people really look up to uh, not just the, the whole organization, but but also all the players, you know, the products of the organization, the fans, and and all these. And then imagine combining the values of the network and uh, with the values of uh, the, the organization and the yeah. league. Hindi ba? So parang it, it just became a perfect mix and marry of these two uh, institutions that I, I really cherish and value. Speaking of the, the NCAA, um, and I know you had a lot of fun memories oh, oh, with NCAA. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's just choose one for now. All right. Ano yung fondest yeah, mo memory mo? Pag naalala mo yung NCAA years mo, hey, ito agad yung, yung pumapasok sa isip mo. Hindi mo makalimutan eh. Kapag uh, first year ka sa San Beda, mm. May initiation sa lahat ng estudyante. Ah. So, yung gawain namin doon, tatakbo kami sa buong belt from from San Beda, ah. lahat pa ikot, CEU, hanggang Holy Spirit. Uh, Tapos may kanya-kanya assigned ano yun eh, parang costume or uniform ah. na katawa-tawa. Dapat talagang katawa-tawa. So, ang na-assign sa amin noon, naka-adult diaper kami na naka-military <laughs> boots. Tapos nakasando, so, ah. naka-chupon. So, talagang pagtitripan ka. Then, of course, uh, nung nandun na ako, na nag-uumpisa na ako, uh, yun ay noong sumali ako sa, sa San Beda Cheering Squad. Mm. Oo, kasi hindi ako, ano eh, hindi ako masyado pinagpala sa basketball eh. <laughs> hindi, ako, <laughs> hindi ako kagalingan eh. So sabi ko, doon nala ako sa, pwede kong may contribute. And at that time, uh, I was already into dancing uh, because I, I came from a dance group called Abstract. So sabi ko, baka naman meron ako makontribute dito kahit pa paano. So, and then I joined. Eh, meron tayong nag-viral na video po. Viral? Ni Ding Dong Dantes <laughs> na miyembro ng San Beda Red Corps or San Beda Cheering Squad. Sige nga, tignan natin. Ah, medyo chubby-chubby to. Nasa <laughs> <laughs> sa akin pa yung t-shirt na yan. Ah, nasa iyo pa yan. Oh. During the game itself, nandun kami sa bleachers. Nakatayo. So, ang ngayari, naka-assign ako sa isang alley. Isang ano, o dito, para talaga kung ano yung, yung cheer ng school sabay-sabay, uh -huh. iniingganyo -sabay, ko sila, ah, tayo, gano'n. Pasarapin pa natin yung kwentuhan natin kasi meron tayong ipapakitang photos naman and all you have mm -hmm. to do and tell us the story 
behind these images. Ito, sige, yeah. umpisahan natin sa ating first image. Ito magiging parang run-through kwento ng buhay mo. <laughs> oh, yearbook photo! Yearbook photo. At you are a member. I would like to emphasize, ah, member of the baseball club for. Mm -hmm. Ayan, so... Early on pa lang. This was, what, high school ba to? No, no, this is oh, grade school. Grade, grade school. school. Okay, grade school, school pa lang oh. talagang involved ka na sa sports. Well, oo, oh, hanggat maaari kasi, especially nung, nung grade school kami, iniingganyo nila yung mga estudyante to participate in at least uh, one type of sports. Hmm. So, yun yung napili ko nun. Dito nakita yung iba-iba mong interests hmm. early on. Di ba, may sports, may, may halong entertainment, performing yeah. din. Di ba, may theater at sports club. Sige. Hmm. Let's now go to the next photo. You were preparing for something when, yeah. when you were when you shot this. Kwenta mo sa amin. So I thought this was taken around a month before the Berlin Marathon, wow. noong 2019 yata. Mm. Yeah, 19 yata. So fairly recent. Very very recent. Uh -huh. So yun yung kauna unahang marathon na sinalihan ko. So uh -huh. Buti na lang kasi imagine after that, wala na. Hindi, ah. na, hindi na pinayagan yung mga ganong events. And I'm just very fortunate that I was able to join it. Napaka, ano, napakahirap na, na journey yan yung pagtitrain sa isang marathon. Oo, oh, yun yung dapat itatanong ko. Because hindi nga biro yung mag-prepare sa isang marathon. Mm -hmm. It needs commitment para right. sa mga participants. For you, what was it like? And I can't imagine kasi I know how busy you are. <laughs> Tapos sinasama mo pa yung training schedule mo. Paano yeah. nangyari yun sa'yo? Well, well, parang it's just like, you know, any other commitment that I put myself into. Like, I'd have to wake up very early, you know, to to, to achieve the workout. And then, wala rin weekends. Kasi syempre, pagkatapos ng workout, medyo pagod ka na. Pati yung type of food, medyo kailangan mong baguhin. So, um, pero kapag, uh, you know, if you put your whole mind, heart, and body into it, eh talagang mangyayari at mangyayari yan. So, you just have to really focus 100%. And ako, I, I never thought na, mag na magagawa ko yun sa buong buhay ko. Kasi imagine, sabi ko nga dati, uh, parang pag tumakbo ka ng 5 kilometers, parang hihingaling ka na. Yun. Tapos, and then after the 5th kilometer, when I was able to um, achieve it, sabi ko, oh, pwede pala. Then let's go to 8. Let's go to 10, let's go to 12, let's go to 18, 21. Hanggang sa, yeah, but I, I trained only until 32. 32. So itong um, distance na to, uh, when you say uh, ma uh, marathon, marathon. It's, it's 42 kilometers. Yeah. Eh. So it was my first time to actually hit that that distance. Oh. So nung nandun na ako sa mga 38 kilometer, parang talagang gusto ko na mag-give mag up. Para sabi ko, ayoko na. Kasi mga ambulansya na doon. Oh. Sabihin niyo na ako. <laughs> Pero hindi. Yun nga sinasabi nila na you have to break that wall. Hindi ka nga eh. So, may, meron ka daw wall na makikita na kailangan mo lang talagang um, kailangan mong basagin, oh. dahanan. And then, once you cross that finish line, and then it's gonna be a very glorious experience. Let's move on to the next photo. But that was a really interesting story. <laughs> That where shows the commitment of uh, uh, Ding Dong here. Ziggy yeah. is holding a ball. Uh, ito, itatanong ko sana na sa'yo, Dong. Gusto mo bang ma-involve sa sports ang iyong kids? Or how involved are your kids right now with, with sports? This was taken early to 20, 2020. Yeah. Basta, nung pandemic na yan, ito hmm. yung first birthday niya. Eh, kasi naalala ko to clearly. Ginupitan ko siya ng buhok dyan. Ah. Lato, it was the same morning. Kinalbo ko pa nga yan eh. Sabi, galit na galit sa akin yung nanay niya. So anyway, happy ako na mahilig siya sa mga ganyan. Kasi sabi ko nga eh, sana maging magaling ka sa basketball. Kasi doon ako hindi magaling eh. <laughs> so mukha namang okay. Kaya may maliit siyang court dyan. Tapos ngayon may maliit. Ah. Meron siyang mas malaking court kahit pa paano. Dahil na kay Ziggy na tayo, uh -huh. let's move on to another footage hmm. here na matutuwa ka rin. Yan. <laughs> it's Zia! Yeah! It's good, it's good. 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 It's
Uh, parang old soul siya dahil yung mga gusto niya, mga Beatles. Oh, eh. oh, yung mga yeah. Beatles yung mga kinakanta niya, saka mga Elvis Presley. But how do you feel, and Maria na rin, how, how do you guys feel if she follows your footsteps to show business? Um, I, I think masyado pang maaga para malaman yan. <laughs> uh-huh. but kung saan niya gusto siya, of course, susuportahan namin siya, 100%. But uh, it, it, is, it is necessary for her, to, of course, to finish her studies first. Mm-hmm. Yun dapat yung priority. Pero mm-hmm. speaking of, kasi binanggit mo na sa amin kanina na ngayon, pandemic, nasa, madalas nasa bahay ka. Mm-hmm. So what's a typical, siyempre may, may routine na tayo na, mm-hmm. na, na, na buo natin ngayong quarantine. Um, what's a typical day sa, sa Dante's household? How do you, how, how is your day like? Well, uh, typically, nauuna ako uh, gumising sa kanila. Ah. So, uh, si-squeeze in ako ng, ng workout. workout so, na. tinatapos ko na siya para pag-gising nila, uh, time for family na. Medyo also, t- some time for work also in, in, in the middle. So, I really get it done and over with in the morning para, uh, para wala na, wala na hassle, di ba? Sobrang efficient. <laughs> Ngayon, yeah, tapos na bagay yung family time tapos para na, family time na. committed oh, ka na. Correct. Oh, nakita natin yung performance mo kanina doon dun sa San Beda Chilling Squad, <laughs> San Beda Red Core. May mga pinakita ka sa ating moves doon, mga ganun. <laughs> Tanong ko lang, kabisado mo pa yan? O oh, alam mo ba, may naaalala ka pa doon? Well, ngayon ko lang ulit nakita uh, yung, yung steps eh. But simple, simple kaya, lang yan. Kaya, kaya, kaya. Pwede mo ba kaming turuan ng... Uh, kailangan makita natin ulit. Oh, sige, pakita natin ulit. Pakita natin ulit, ulit, ulit diba? Dong, pwede mo bang turuan kami i-recreate yung routine na ginawa mo doon? Pwede naman. Pwede? Pwede naman. Basta sabayan mo ako. Sige, sabayan mo. Kailangan niya, medyo walo dapat tayo niyan. Pero okay. napakasimple lang yan. As in, kahit makapikit, kayang-kaya mo. Kayang-kaya. Sige, oh, sige. Sige. Ito yung pinakasimple. Hindi natin kailangan tumayo. Di ba? Ah. So, parang, una gagano ka. One. Ah, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tan, 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 tan. So, anim. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, pa- para naglilinis ka lang, diba? Oh, diba? Oh. <laughs> Pero palakpakan natin. Ding dong, Dante. Yes, diba? Guys, minsan natin makita yan. Nakita natin yan noon in his San Beda days. First time niyang ginawa yan ulit. Dito sa Rizal Stronger. After how many years? Oh, that's after how many years. <laughs> Pero ikaw, um, going back to your to your NCAA days, um, napakaganda, napakadaming tao noon. Ano, what was, gano'ng kalakas yung school spirit noon sa San Beda? Lalong-lalo na kapag ka nandun kayo, nagpo-perform kayo, yung mga estudyante nandun, para sa'yo, how was it like? Uh, grabe yung suporta ng student body. Um, minsan may mga pagkakataon pa kung kailan talagang what, nag, 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 uh, nagsususpend ng classes hmm. uh, kapag may important game for, for the school. So, uh, that would happen uh, a lot. No? So, dun, dun pa lang nakikita mo talaga yung yung commitment din ng school to the athletes and how involved the students are 